So, multiple streams of income by Robert G. Allen was the first book I reviewed on my Friday's book review show. And do you know that there are two types of income? The active income and the passive income. Now, the active income is the income that you receive whilst you are working. And the passive is the income that you receive whilst you are sleeping. Somebody asked me, how can I receive income whilst I'm sleeping? Yes, if you invest into treasury bills and then they pay you, I mean quarterly, that means every three months, you are sleeping while that money, you are not actively involved. So these are some of the things I teach on my Friday's book review. I mean, it talks about money mountains. Real estate is a money mountain where you can put your money. It talks about the stock exchange market where it's also like a money mountain where you can put your money. It goes on to talk about network marketing and also um, leverage and line sensing. So I reviewed this book and it changed a lot of people's lives. I mean, it changed my life first and then I impacted people. For them, for them for their lives to be changed as well interesting so it's a wonderful book if you want to know how to add income to your number of income that you have this is your book and robert g allen is your man wow that's interesting so you can see it's a national bestseller okay so it's a nice one grab it at epp or any place that you can get it yeah right will you wrap up with any other book yeah um i, I want to talk about my read a book foundation okay so read a book a week foundation came up as about when people knew that I was reading. I mean, I, I went from reading a book a week to reading two books a week and three books a week. Yes, so uh, people wanted to know how I do it. How am I able to read so many books in a week? So I had to share this secret because I'm all about sharing and then growing, I mean, capacity and then improvements in people. So I have this five simple method on how to read a book a week. I mean, how to be able to read a book a week. This is so simple. Anybody can do it. Then there are five eyes. I don't know if you are ready. I'm ready for yes. five so, eyes. Yes, five eyes. eyes right? Yes, yes. So you, have, you need. All I say is like, as far as you have eyes that can see, you can apply my five simple method to read a book a week. Interesting. So there are five eyes, and you just have to you have eyes to get it. All right, let's go. Yes. So the first eye that I talk about is you need to have interest. You need to have interest in the book that you want to read. You need to have interest in the book that you want to read. I love business books. I love books about business. If you like books about science, yes, yeah, science printed. So if you like books about science, that is the first step. Identify where your interest is. If you want to read a book a week, identify where your interest is. So I, the first I is interest. The second I is intention. Now, the biggest underlying thing that people want to make is make a decision that I want to finish this book in a minute. Make a decision that you want to finish, yes, this book, this voluminous book in a week. This is, um, in, in business as in life, you don't get what you want, you get what you deserve. It's a negotiation book, beautiful book. So, I tell people that the, first, the second thing that they need is intention. Make up your mind, make up your mind. And that contributes 60% of you being able to read a book a week. Make up your mind, that's intention, the second eye, right? That was the third eye. The third eye is information. The third eye is information. So I say that, Find out what this book is about. The negotiation book was, writ was written by Chester Carras. Find out what the book is about. You can do this on Google. You can go to YouTube and look at the book review or what I also do, the book review. So find a book review or a summary. Sometimes you can even look at the back of the book. It tells you what the book is about. So information is the third one. Grab information from the book, what the book is about before you open the book. People say, why do, I need, why do I need to do this? You need to do this because the more we engage, the more senses we engage in reading or in learning something, the more we get to know better. So if you listen to the radio, you listen to an audio tape, it's just your ear, right? But you get more things from it when you're watching a television. That's why people like video to audio. When you tell somebody a video, because his ears and his eyes are engaged, they understand it better. Now, when you, when you find the information, what you're trying to do is you are increasing the senses that needs to understand this thing. So the fourth eye, right? The fourth eye is called inscription or to inscribe. Now, now you are starting to read the book. Once you start to read the book, there are two kinds of knowledge that will come to you. You have the old knowledge, that is things you already know. So you know what income is, that's old knowledge. And we have new knowledge, things the book is going to teach you about. What I say is that inscribe or write down or put down the new knowledge that you've gotten from the book. Write down the new knowledge that you've gotten from the book. Because if you don't, you forget. Then the, the, the last but not the least, the fifth eye is inspection. Inspection just means review. Inspect to see whether you have really learned the things. Because you don't want at the end of 
a week, you forget everything that you've read about. So simple five eyes. First, I said is what interest. Second, intention. Third, information. Fourth, inspection. No, fourth is inf um, um, inscription or inscribe, and then the fifth is inspection. Wow, what a nice way to capture it up of all for us on the show. So the first one was interest. The second was intention. The third is information. The fourth is inscription. Last and not least is inspection. And you have to inspect with your eyes. So you need the eyes to do some of these things. That was a nice one by the man himself, the infopreneur, the creme de la creme for information. You had Hesse. All right. So what would be your last words if I really went and you give a shout out? Yes. So um, what I want to say is that if you want to read a book a week or you are having a seminar on reading books or anything like this, you can invite me to come and talk. It is my utmost joy and desire to teach people on how to read a book a week or how to do it. Because I think it's not difficult. I think that the problem is the interest. Because you know, we never lack the ability, it's the will that we lack. If people are more willing and desire and know this thing, what I call strategies, to read a book a week, they'll be able to. I'm open, my doors are open. I don't need that. Drop your number. Drop my number. It's 020 10 441 and then my Instagram is Hesse underscore online. Hesse is spelled H E double S E underscore online. Or you can say Hesse online, H E S S E online. Then you find me, Leo Hesse on Facebook, and then Leo Hesse on YouTube. I drop my book reviews there, you can check them out, and then you can edify your life and just give me a shout out. When it comes to shout outs, um, shout out to my mom, my dad, of course. I mean, they are, look at what they produce, something great, right? So, Yes, and shout out to my friends and those who watch my book review. I want to say a special shout out to Amisiko. I want to say a special shout out to Joseph. Uh, Joseph Menon is an amazing guy. He's always patronized my man. And I'm here about him as well. And then you, <laughs> you of course, Solomon Bedia Akufi. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's a nice one. We'll be wrapping up soon. SMC Consult. You can also catch us on Instagram, SMC Consult. And also on Science Digest Show on YouTube. So we'll wrap up saying science digest show, yeah, yam no fake off. So say it for me. Science digest show, yeah, yam no fake off fake off. Alright, so we are grinding to final particles. To wrap up, we are saying shout outs to Dr. Sandra Hewlett and also to Prof. Professor Rita Dixon of KNUST, the Vice Chancellor. Kudos on your assumption of office and better chance in all you do and everything you do. Dr. Cynthia Minida, for my love to you and everything that you've done and the inspiration and the support. Thank you for watching the show. I'll approach you for. See you next time. Bye. Bye.